taking a look at these cat tube dog ringer bells um, to keep your dog from barking at your door or like scratching at it like ours does. And there they are. I've edited the sound out so that you don't hear the bells through what I'm trying to explain to you. But here we go. I'll play. I'll ring them at the end so you can hear. Um, you can see the bells. There's two sets in here. One for probably either side of the door. And then um, inside is also a collapsible dog dish uh, that can be used for water, food, or at least they're supposed to be. We'll take a look and get this open here. And there we go. Everything's nicely packed in there. It looks like I see the dish. There we go. Here, let me get it all the way out. There we go. Um, there's the dog dish. It's collapsible, like I said. Um, convenient. It's not too big, not too small. It's, you know, if you're on a picnic or something in the park, you'd have a little extra for your dog for water or food or whatever. And there you have it. It's got a little clip so you can carry it on your belt buckle or on a bag or something. And then here's the bells. The straps, right off the bat, I noticed that they're nice, heavy-duty nylon. Um, it looks like they'll hold up. The bells are nice nice and heavy. They're not like junk. They're not going to just fall apart on you. So, yeah, those have a little bit of weight to them. So they'll actually probably knock the door even. And there you can see right there on the left, my dog scratched the door. So we're going to try this out, see if we can't train them to use these instead. Wish us luck. And here we are outside again. I'm just going to let you hear the bells. They actually are quite loud, so you definitely would hear them, especially the ones inside uh, the house. 